is going on? Talk over EMP. Today I'm going to be showing you a few cool tweaks from Cydia that I think are useful and interesting and make your phone a little bit different. Some of them are updated, some of them are new, some of them are, um, you know, other tweaks you might have seen on other names just combined into one application or one tweak. So, I'm just going to go ahead and get started and make this video quick as possible. The first one I'm going to show you is Lock Info. Now we're all familiar with lock info. We've been jailbreaking um, for the past couple of years. You have SMS, missed calls, voicemail, calendar, mail, and so on and so forth. Notifications, favorites. But what's new is down here, now you can have pictures, the actual pictures of your favorite contacts on your lock screen. And you can, if you want, press on one of these and you can either call, text message, or FaceTime them from your lock screen. Very cool feature totally makes the application much more useful. Um, there's another tweak just like this from Cydia called IntelliScreen, um, which is kind of outdated now, and not a lot of people are using that anymore. Most people are sticking with lock info, but one of the big things was being able to call people from your lock screen. With IntelliScreen, you could do that, and with lock info, you couldn't. So now, with lock info, you can call anybody that's in your favorites, and we all know you can put whatever you want, whoever you want, I'm pretty sure any amount of people in your favorites so you'd be able to have all the people you talk to all in your lock screen not even have to actually go into your phone to dial or find the contact or whatever it may be so this is a very cool tweak very interesting very useful go check that out in Cydia I don't really care if you guys know my password it's only my password for my phone nothing else so don't get too excited so the next one that I'm going to be showing you is SB settings. SB settings is right up here. You slide your finger across the status bar and this little option menu will pop down. And you can put a bunch of different pages and different toggles on this, but it comes stock with 3G, Bluetooth, data and Wi-Fi. Those are all on off toggles. Right down here you have the brightness, so you can press that and a little bar will come up right there. Right here you have processes, so you can press the processes and you can actually end these backgrounding processes. Uh, I don't know if anybody knew, but mail and phone, if once they're open, they're open until you restart your phone or with the jailbroken phone, you have the option to cancel them. And then right here you have airplane mode, you can turn on and off. Right here you can press on more, I'll go to that afterwards. You can refresh your springboard from that button right there. Right here you can bring up your dock or dock options. You can respring from that button and you can turn off from that one right there. So we'll go on here into more so you guys can see a little bit of an extended view of this application. Right in here you have a bunch of different options. You can set more toggles. You can set the activation method of SB settings itself. You can change the themes if you're dealing with Winterboard. I don't deal with Winterboard so that's something you guys might be interested in. Right down here you have different options for SB settings. You can change the status bar date, free memory you can put up there as you see I, I do that. Um, you can change the, the slash to a period in the date if you feel the need. And then down here you have a whole bunch of different options that you can go ahead and play around with if you want to. So that's SB settings. Very definitely useful. Definitely a necessary application for us jailbreakers. The next one that I'm going to be showing you guys is a, not necessarily for productivity, but this one is actually called Sleep Effects. You've probably seen a lot of videos with this in it lately. But what this is, it changes the normal click, shut off noise and look a little bit differently. And I'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. For some reason, I'm having a little problems with this application. It only works a couple times, and if I, you know, go onto my lock screen or do anything, it just stops working. As you can see, when I go like this, it's just normal, even though it is activated within here. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to just actually, I don't even need to go in here. I'm just going to respring my device real quick. So now when I turn this, it's going to be a different kind every time. And as you can see, they also have a beta version of a sleep on, which is um, TV on or off. You can pick which one you want to do for that as well. And it just went off again, and as you can see, it did a little flip. Turn it on, it'll do the little television screen. I'll go back in here. I'll just show you guys one more time because I have it on random, so it's going to do a different one every time. That time it did a little flip around. And again with the TV. So that's a application tweak called Sleep Effects. Interesting, adds a little bit of a style to the iPhone. What it does there, it goes again. 
I really gotta get the uh, sleep unlocked so I can make it so my phone doesn't fall asleep right away like that. So the next one we're gonna go into, I'll go into settings so you guys can see. The next one we're gonna be going into is an application called Multiflow. And what Multiflow is, is it's a different look and feel for your for your backgrounding or your app switching because we all know it's not true backgrounding. So I'm going to go down here and as you can see I have a couple applications open. So what I do is I do this little thing right here. There we go. And this will pop up right here and what this is is it's the one application that I have open. I'll do this real quick so I can get a couple other ones popping up in there. Alright here we go so I just go like that and these different pages will flip up for some reason it's not recognizing some of them and that's the thing about some of these tweaks they don't work 100 percent but they're definitely cool when they do but um you know we just got to get used to the fact that these people that are creating these tweaks aren't they're not all professional some of them are but some of them aren't and some of these have little bugs here and there and sometimes it really depends on the phone depends on you know whatever it may be a little small difference in whatever you have installed might be you know the decision on how the application or tweak works. So this one's not working perfectly as it should right now since I have all these applications running and it's only showing two. That's just something you're gonna you know run into every once in a while. But from in here you can X out of it or you can click on it and go right back to it. So that's <coughs> multi-flow. And the last one I'm gonna do today is called Mobile Notifier. Now Modifier it doesn't actually have any settings, it's just the a little look at who created it and stuff like that but you've probably also seen this but what this is is you'll be able to double click and this little screen pops up right here and you'll have all different kinds of notifications or messages or what have you um, from push notifications to app alerts if you have a, the free app a day app it'll pop up in here every day if you don't have to miss it it's great and the greatest thing about it is the fact that you can just clear all of them whenever you want clear your whole dashboard when you're inside of this you can also do app switching and you can go back and forth and you can do the volume and you can do the, the iPad or the iPod controls then you double click again and also um, it's gone and you can when you're on your lock screen so what I want to tell you when you're on your lock screen if you have a notification, it will be right up here on the top. As you know, if you have no lock info as well, you might be a little overwhelmed with notifications. But at the same time, it's a good thing to know what's going on on your phone. And there it goes, falling asleep again. I'm actually going to show you guys one last one. If you guys are into the scrolling board or scrolling dock or any of these effects, you've probably seen this. This is called Barrel. You can go check that out, that out as well. I'm not going to go through it. There's tons of videos on YouTube about it as well but there's an application right down here called scrolling board and what this is is it gives you um, the option to have scrolling folders and a scrolling dock all within the one application so you can enable folders to have more than one app or more than 12 apps in them well, that's not one of them right here you can scroll up and down with the apps and it also gives you this tweak right here to scroll your dock and it gives you um, a volume and the iPod controls in your dock just so you don't have to double click and come over here same ones but that is it that is all I wanted to show you guys today hopefully you enjoy this video make sure to subscribe and like and comment and I will talk to you guys later